Picture your favorite handbag or your favorite shoes. Do you know who really made them? According to the United States Customs and Borders Protection, there were 19,959 seizures of goods, pricing a value $188.1 million, all within the year 2010. Counterfeited goods are making hazardous situations for children. They take place in child labor, and also counterfeited goods damage the American economy. I'm going to show you the top 10 counterfeited goods in America today. Number 10, pharmaceuticals. Number nine, jewelry. Number eight, watches. Number seven, cigarettes. Number six, computers and the hardware that's in them. Number five, media. Number four, handbags, wallets, and backpacks. Number three, apparel. Number two, consumer electronics. And number one, footwear. Here's also a video about child labor. In the book Deluxe, How Luxury Lost Its Luster, Dr. Dana Thomas wrote, I remember walking into an assembly plant in Thailand a couple of years ago and seeing six or seven little children, all under 10 years of age, sitting on the floor assembling counterfeit leather handbags. An investigator told me that the owners had broken the children's legs and tied the lower leg to the thigh so the bones wouldn't mend. They did it because the children said they wanted to go outside and play. Now imagine a close relative, someone that is a child. Can you imagine letting them go to work in these hazardous conditions? Can you imagine them having broken legs just because they wanted to go outside and play? According to Scholastic, more than 250 million children between the ages of five and 14 work. The purchase of counterfeited goods contributes to the advancement of child labor. Many of these children work the ghost shift, and the Gotham Gazette reports of child labor in factories making Nike shoes, which we all know is very popular. These children work all day, and they work all night, and they have no childhood. Now I'm going to talk about the American economy. With the American economy already in debt, the distributions of counterfeits contribute up to 7% of all annual world trade. This makes up the loss 
of more than 750,000 American jobs. 750,000 jobs lost to the production of counterfeit products. That's more than the population of Fort Worth, Texas. Cracking down on these criminals won't solve the problem. And Dana Thomas says, though laws and enforcement are getting more effective, criminals are getting wildier. More creative distribution becomes dangerous, and cities become even more violent for U.S. citizens. Now try and picture the future. Do you want there to be more American jobs lost to counterfeited goods? What if when you graduate, there aren't any jobs available and you have to file for unemployment? What about the children working all day and night? Do you want your children to become victims of child labor and produce mass quantities of illegal products? Heather McDonald says, the harder everyone works to stop the sale of counterfeit goods, the more inventive counterfeiters have to get. But no matter what we do, as long as there is a demand, there's always going to be a supply. So think before you buy next time you go shopping. Think about the children that work all day and night. And also think about you adding more to the $188.1 million that is lost every day.